Come on. You don't want no trouble with the dog man. Nah. I'm a dog man, dog man, dog man. Yeah. Nah, you don't want no trouble with the dog man. Nah. Cause I'm a cowboy acting like the law man. Yeah. You don't want no trouble with the dog man. Nah. I'm a dog man, dog man, dog man. A lot of guys have always asked me the secrets to my dog training. The secrets is starting with the right genetics and after having the right genetics, having the right training program. I'm gonna show you a drive training secret that creates the screaming demon, but even if you don't have the screaming demon, your puppy's uh, drives will be out of the roof. Okay, so right here, what I do, I start with, like you see this little bland wall right here. And so this is my wall. And what I do with the pup is, I'll have, say my stick has my prey item on the opposite side. So here, I'll let the puppy see the prey. I'll give my trigger words, ready to work? You ready to work? Ready to work? So, and then the prey goes away. Now most guys, you'll see when they're, they're doing a prey drive building with the dogs, you'll see them doing a lot of just wiggling the prey around, doing a lot of different stuff with, with, with their puppy. I think that's too, it's just too much. Less is always better. Less is always better. Look at that. What we're telling you is less is better. Guys are making the prairie drive run around. It's a lot. It's too much unless you're working a dog. At this time, you should always be praising your dog and imprinting his mind with the Q word. And then maybe I'll ask him again. Say, good boy. He already knows. You ready to work? You ready to work? What's he got? 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 So I don't want the dog to think that it's that I'm controlling the prey. I want him to think that the prey comes out of nowhere. You want your puppy to think that the prey item comes out of nowhere once you give the trigger cue word. And right when that get ready to end. Right before your session is over, you want to give the dog success. Prayer come across the wall. Hey, hey, good boy, good boy, good boy, yes, good boy. He gets the prey. Good boy. Pull him back. Close his eyes. Now I'm gonna let him hold the prey until the prey comes out of his mouth. And he might hold it for a long time, which is good. We know he'll get the man, he'll get the item. He won't release it. This will make him hold on to it a long time. This is this is a part of what's gonna teach the dog to grip. Now look, the prey is gone. Cut the boy, cut the boy, that's a boy. And that's when you start talking to him. Where is it, boy? Where that thing go, boy? Where that thing go? You was getting him? Yes, you was getting him. You was getting him. Where is it, boy? People fail to praise their dog, and that's where they go wrong. So I'm programming in this man what he did. I'm praising him for what he did. Good boy. You was getting that. You was getting that. See that? Pick the dog up. And I'll put him in his cage, and that's the end of the session. I'm Grandmaster Von the Muff, the world's greatest puppy imprinter with some of the world's greatest working puppies, like this one. And of course, you, the world's greatest working friend.